guys welcome back to my youtube channel and um yeah from the last video we've gained two subscribers it might not seem much but thank you to whoever those are um glad to have you on board today i'm gonna create my premier league xi this season which xi means squad so everyone who's been forming very well in all different positions and we'll just see what i come up with so in the goalkeeper position i'm gonna go with dean henderson he might not seem that good he's an 84 on fifa but he's actually in my xi because he's actually in my squad sorry because he's just been performing really well this season he's <clears throat> um i can't remember how many clean sheets he's had but he's done really well for sheffield united and i feel i should just include him i mean he is my favorite goalkeeper um I did just say that. He's my favourite goalkeeper in the Prem. Um and he's one of the best in the Prem, one of the top performing recently. So I'd put Dean Henderson there. Um Yeah, so that's goalkeepers done. But we're gonna go with the right back right back, sorry. And we're gonna go with Trent Alexander Arnold. He's been unbelievable this season. I can't remember how many goals he scored. I mean, I don't just judge his stats by goals that they scored or um, how many clean sheets I've kept. I do it overall on performance that I've seen them play and what I've seen Trent Alexander-Arnold. I've watched a lot of Liverpool games. Um, my the Probably the best Trent Alexander-Arnold moment, probably maybe not of the season, but overall, is probably my favourite performance of Liverpool ever probably the 4-0 against Barcelona at home at Anfield and when he put that corner in I was impressed I, I could never do that you know I could probably take corner but do it that quick and not get caught out it's quite difficult to do so that's why I'm going for Trent Alexander-Arnold at my right back at my left back another Liverpool player I'm gonna go with Andrew Robertson his performance been banging this season and I can't really say anything else i mean it's not it's for the past two seasons it's just easier for me to grade them because yeah i've had work this year and i've not watched many premier league games i've watched highlights of practically all of them apart from a few that don't matter like brighton versus villa yeah um sorry i just got a text from my friend jacob saying shut up because i keep on um sending him a meme anyway um Yes, I'm going Andrew Robertson. He's a very good performing player this year. He's got, <clears throat> he's quite. I like. He's a good defender. Let's just say that for the centre back. It's another liver. Actually, no. I'm gonna go with because it's last past two seasons. I'm gonna go with Vincent Company. I don't. If it was just this season, I would go with Van Dijk. But it's just Vincent Company is <clears throat> a legend in my opinion. That last goal he scored for City, aka the cap famous Captain Marvel, great outside left foot goal to go into the top corner. See, he's not just a defender; he can play an attack. He's like you don't expect a defender to score that good of goal, and that's why generally I've put him in the centre for one of the centre backs. So yeah, that's one of my centre backs done, Vincent Company. Centre back, yep, it's Virgil van Dijk. He's clearly the best defender in the world. If we're doing a world XI, which is coming soon, I will post that at some point. Maybe not this week, next week, some point next week. Um, but Virgil van Dijk, top performing player, everyone knows it. Like, even like Everton fans, even though Virgil van Dijk plays football, as you guys know, even Everton fans have to agree with me when I say he is clearly the best Premier League defender best Europe defender and best and the best defender in the world. He's incredible. I mean let's have a, the tackles that he make. I mean nothing can beat that Scottish tackle um from a while back. I mean that's probably the best tackle I've ever seen. Um but Virgil van Dijk is just in this. It's obvious I uh, there's nothing else to say so that's all my centre backs sorted. On to my centre midfielders I've gone with Angola Kante. Great player, the triple nutmeg, classy. I've got an itch on my leg. Um, he's just an amazing player. He's a very smiling player, very positive. Came from Leicester, gone to Chelsea. And he's been at Chelsea for a few years and his performance has been outstanding in various places on the pitch. Attacking, great. Defending, he's done well. Um, 
and generally ever he could play anywhere on the pitch apart from goalkeeper in my opinion but he's definitely making the cut just because of what I've seen him play he's done the triple nutmeg goal which is personally one of my favorite Premier League goals um so yeah so that's why I put him at central midfielder decided to make a XI I'm gonna probably do two central midfielders and two attacking midfielders to make it right so here goes the next central midfielder I've gone with David Silva he's a very good player and it's a very tough decision to make between some other players but I've gone with him just because of his performance this season um the crosses the goals I like his accuracy with the crosses but nothing no cross or pinpoint accuracy will ever match the player that's about to come next um certainly one of the best center midfielders in the world so that's why I've put him there um in central midfielder moving on to the attacking midfielders this one's fairly obvious and you have to agree with me when I say Kevin De Bruyne absolute baller and when I said on the last one you'll never find someone who's more accurate as him he's like Doctor Who it's like he can travel in time see where his players are go back and put the ball exactly to that spot he's a good pacemaker I just realized what I said I'm sorry <laughs> but he's a good he's a good he's got good pace he's fast he's got lightning agility he's got great free kicks I mean his free kicks probably the best in the Premier League that I've seen this season we can obviously debate on that with other people. But I've gone with Kevin De Bruyne. It's a bit obvious, but yes, yeah, so I've gone with him. Sent that's attacking midfielder, James Madison. Obvious. Leicester City's, pro in my opinion, he's Leicester City's second best player behind. Actually, no, third best player behind Cas behind Casper Schmeichel, James Vardy. Um, he has nothing else I can really say. I mean, I watch a lot of the games. I don't. I don't focus on these certain players, so I can't remember a lot that he's done. He's an amazing player. You've seen him on Soccer AM. Well, I have. Um, the free kicks he takes, penalties, one-on-ones. He's good in all those positions. I think, personally, he could be a winger, but that's up to them to decide. And, obviously, they know best where he plays. So, I've gone with Madison. Um, moving on to the right wing. In fierce, no... Now, between fierce negotiations with my head, whether it's Mo Salah or Raheem Sterling, and I've gone with Raheem Sterling. Let's face it, he has got a heart of gold. He is like, <clears throat> he gets criticised a lot. <clears throat> Sorry, I just got something in my throat. And he gets criticised a lot. He, that shocking racism against Bulgaria. If I'd started my channel earlier, I would have done a video on that. It's absolutely horrific how people can do that to Raheem. He's a top-class player. He's, he's been through a lot. Chelsea fans, which were very disrespectful. But let's move on to the positive side of things. His goals, his attacks as well. He has really good attacks. He has really good crosses into the box. He's a pinpoint player. And that's why I've put him in the right wing. Um, surely you agree with me when I say that. Now the left wing is fairly obvious. Um, I'm gonna go with Sadio Mane. The contribution he's made to Liverpool is outstanding. Goals, runs, crosses, skills. He has good skills. I have to admit, top class. He's probably one of the best wingers I've seen ever. He's got. So he's got good aggression, mentality, good at penalties, good at free kicks. He's really fast. He's quite humorous on like talk shows and stuff like interviews. He's quite humorous. Um, so yeah, I'll just put him in that wing spot because that's his natural position. He could be a striker. And I've seen his FIFA striker card. It's a very good card. So that's why I put him in the wing. On to the position you've all been waiting for. The striker position now i've gone with sergio aguero contribution he's made this season is perfect and you have to say as well 2012 and that's not, this isn't just this season as well this is like past decade 2012 the goal aguero that one you'll never believe your eyes <clears throat> what a goal and it wasn't just an important goal for city it was a, it was a good goal it generally top class pass from balotelli aguero bam Top, uh, they want top bins. Send to the centre. We're going to spend a little more time on Sergio Aguero here. 
And we're going to talk about the goals he scored. He scored some top class goals. Probably City's top goal scorer if I didn't know different. He's just incredible. I've seen... He's... There's nothing else I can say about him. His dribbles, his passes, their pinpoint. Crosses are decent, but his shots are powerful, unbelievable. You won't really see any other striker as consistent as him in the Premier League. So that's why I've gone with Sergio Aguero. Guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, smash the notification button. And if you see this, please subscribe and like. I can't stress it enough. Share it with all of your friends. Um, it would be really, really nice to have you on board. Um, I've gained subscribers and we are gaining fans. So please, I'm begging you, like and subscribe. For more videos and content, go follow my Instagram at Match Review YouTube. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. See ya.